Have you ever wondered, how do I get the logs from a device? So we can do this through Teams App and Center. We can download the logs, so we can either do it from the front of room device or the touch console. So it's a two-step process. Another way to do it is actually configure it within the device itself. So there's a number of ways you could do this. You could also do this from a configuration profile. I'll show you that shortly. But within the device, we can come into here. So this is my neat pad connected to my neat bar pro and under general logs and feedback, and we can submit our logs from here. And again, it's telling you that there is a message side restriction. So the default on exchange, I think is 25 meg on exchange on log. You can change your mailboxes. So it's larger. So the maximum you can go to for receiving messages is 150 meg. So you can do that through PowerShell. So for example, I can put in my email address here and simply say, allow send in the logs. And then we click back. So now in the bottom right corner, I can report a problem. So it's coming from my blue ring. Testing one, two, three. Logs from the device. And we hit send. So now what it's going to do is actually now send an email with an attachment. Obviously with my email box, I have done this now. So it's under a certain size. So again, if the device has been on a long time, hasn't been rebooted, logs are going to be a lot bigger. If it's been rebooted recently and you're replicating the error, then the log should be fine. It should come through. With this, we have the ability to do also a Teams channel if you want. So you can get the Teams channel address from Teams and send all your logs to a Teams channel if you want. Another option. Or also, we can use the Pro Portal to get that. And there we have it. Feedback has now been sent to my email. And we'll jump to my inbox now. And then we'll also look at how we configure it from Teams, but also the Pro Portal. There we go, feedback has been sent. Here we have the email that I sent, testing one, two, three. And as you can see, I've got the console logs and the front of room logs. So these are just the team's logs. So they don't include the OEM logs. So again, keeping them lightweight. So eight meg and, and three meg. So these are actually the team's logs, which can be quite helpful for Microsoft support and required a lot of the time as well. So that's where we can see them if we email them to ourselves. The other way we can have our logs, as I mentioned, is if we create MTD logs, for example, you can see the logs are then added in here. So again, with Exchange, I can create my mailbox up to 150 meg to receive that limit. I think it's 20 or 25 meg in a Teams channel. And I'm not sure on creating that one in terms of extending the size. Also, within Pro Management Portal, you can see the logs as well. So if you have gone and got the logs, go to your activity. You can see the logs are here and you can download them. So these are then initiated from the Team Jumps and Android. So again, if you are doing the logs from here, Bluebird Room, for example, you can download the device logs, go to your history, and there they are available to download. These logs will include the OEM logs. So for example, the neat logs are all included through here. But remember, you have to do two entries. You have to go to the touch console and do the exact same again. Download logs, history, 15 minutes later, you've got the logs here that was successful. So that is getting the logs from there. The other option is looking at the config profile. So how do we set it up essentially? So we can go in here, go to Red Bull Touch, for example. So again, if you wanted it to a Teams channel, click the three dots, get email address. And we want this section here, for example, and then we can go to our profile and put in the address. So whether it's your own email address or you want a Teams channel, you pop that in there. So that's how we do Teams Admin Center logs in various different ways. But also you've got Neat Pulse, so you can submit the logs there. They are the Neat logs. They do not include the tag logs today. Hopefully maybe something that could be done in the future. Any questions? Let me know.